Are you having weird issues with your wheel, pedals, joysticks or USB disc where they will sometimes drop out or misbehave? A few weeks ago while driving with my Husingfeld racing pedals they became really laggy. Pressing on the accelerator would take up to 5 seconds to be sent to the game. I also found that Simucube open sim wheel hardware would occasionally drop out completely. In addition, some USB sticks were not recognised immediately by Windows 10 and I would have to remove them and re-plug them in again for them to be seen by Windows Explorer. I've also had the problem, although not recently, of the dreaded not enough USB controller resources error. In this video I will share with you how I fixed all of these issues. Let me say at the outset that this is not a deep dive into compatibility or the specifications of USB standards and hardware. However, I will explain why these issues occur. So let's take the first problem I had, possessed pedals. My first thought was that they were drawing too much current from the USB 3 hub. To solve it, I plugged it into a, a native USB motherboard port. OK, it was working now. And the same solution worked with various USB sticks. So I began to suspect it was the USB 3 hub that was the problem. A few months ago I plugged in my Thrustmaster Warthog HOTUS and got the not enough USB controller resources message. At that point I had an Intel 5820K on an X99 motherboard and this pointed to my USB 3 hub as the problem. Let me briefly explain why. The two major differences between USB 2 and 3 are the bandwidth and the maximum current you can draw. USB 2, high speed, operates at 480 megabits per second, whereas USB 3, super speed, is 10 times faster at 5 gigabits per second. The maximum available current for a USB 2 high speed port is 500 milliamps, whereas for a USB 3, it's 900 milliamps. So you might be saying to yourself right now, why not simply use USB 3 hubs and plug all your USB 2 devices into it? Well, that's what I thought. After all, USB 3 is generally backward compatible with USB 2. Admittedly, you'll only get USB 2 speeds if you plug a USB 2 device into a USB 3 port. But not so fast. There are some USB 2 devices such as older joysticks, keyboards and mice that do not work well with USB 3. If you have a lot of USB devices on your computer, you might run into the dreaded not enough USB controller resources message. On my X99 motherboard it happened all the time, but it hasn't occurred at all on my current gaming PC. The reason for this error message is something called endpoints. Each USB controller has a limited number of endpoints available. Endpoints are channels for data communication. One endpoint is used for downstream and another one for upstream. Different devices require different number of endpoints. Joysticks with lots of hat switches and buttons will need lots of endpoints. So it's not directly related to the number of devices you have. A USB 3 controller is limited to 96 endpoints on older Intel and AMD systems. So if you have a lot of USB devices plugged in, you're going to end up hitting this limit pretty quickly. To make matters worse, each USB 3 port has a limit of just 16 endpoints. This means that if you have a USB hub plugged into a USB 3 port, you're going to be limited straight away. On the other hand, USB 2 devices can have up to 32 endpoints, double that of USB 3. So one way to reduce the possibility of getting the error is to make sure that you plug your USB 2 hub into a USB 2 port. If you're still getting to the endpoint limit, unplug some of your devices from your hub and plug them directly into your motherboard especially complex game devices such as the Thrustmaster HOTUS. If this still doesn't fix the problem, you might have to look at a low-cost hub plugged directly into your motherboard PCI slot. On AMD systems using AM4 sockets, the number of available endpoints has been increased to a total number of 254 endpoints per USB controller. This is the reason it hasn't happened for me since moving to my new gaming PC which uses a 3900X on an X570 motherboard. Most modern USB 3 hosts use what is called Extensible Host Controller Interface, XHCI. 
You might have seen this in your BIOS. The XHCI specification allows for a th theoretical maximum of 7,906 endpoints. However, it is common for motherboard manufacturers using XHCI controllers to impose their own limit on the total number of endpoints to 96. Some motherboards support USB 2 and 3 using more than one chipset so that adds even more complexity. On a PC, USB 3 ports can be easily identified because they will be blue marked with a SS or Super Speed logo. If you get desperate, you do have one last option and that would be to disable XHCI in your system BIOS. This will disable USB 3 functionality, so Windows will see all ports as USB 2. Not a good solution though. So my solution was a Sabrent 13 port USB 2 hub from Amazon at a cost of $47. It has a really, really short cable, which just reaches the USB 2 port on the front of my PC. I cable tied the hub to the monitor arm post and used a twist tie to provide cable relief for all the cables. The power supply is 2500 milliamps. Since installing it and plugging in all the pedals, steering wheel, Thrustmaster Hotus and other devices, I haven't had any further problems with USB. Well, I hope that helped you. Bye for now.